Marrero with Western Marketing. I want to appreciate, appreciate everyone that has joined on today for the webinar, uh, joining today for the webinar. Today, we're going to be uh, speaking with uh, uh, Seth Groff, uh, Sales Director for Shoebridge. He's going to be talking about the many different products that Shoebridge has to offer, especially one of the best dental insurance in the market with uh, uh, their prime DVH plan. So without further ado, Seth. All right. Well, thanks, Sandy. And thanks, everyone, for jumping on today's call. As Sandy mentioned, we're going to talk about two of Sherbridge's uh, fastest growing products in our portfolio, our prime DVH plan and then also our critical illness plan. And, you know, if there was one product that you said, Seth, what's the easiest Sherbridge product to sell? I would say prime DVH. And if you ask me the question, you know, what is one of the most important products to bring up to your clients? I would say critical illness. So um, today we're going to take a look at two products that, you know, whether you're in the over 65 market or under the 65 market or, you know, do a little bit, bit of business in both, both these plans are going to be a great addition to what you're currently doing. Just complement it and provide some better protection um, to your clients. So if you're not familiar with Sherbridge, you can see down there in the lower left-hand corner, it's Sherbridge underwritten by the Chesapeake Life Insurance Company. Sherbridge is the marketing name. The Chesapeake Life Insurance Company is the actual carrier. They are one and the same. I'm going to refer to everything as Sherbridge. However, just be aware um, of that Chesapeake Life Insurance name um, because that's what when their client receives a policy, which will, will actually be the name on the policy. And I always tell people we're one of the fastest growing ancillary carriers in the marketplace. And really, we have three goals. Okay, We want to offer the best products at the best price and um, you know, compensate all of you very fairly for selling them. And the only way we can accomplish those three things is by leveraging technology. And so all of our plans at Sherbridge are gonna be quoted and uh, applied for on a point of sale tool. There's gonna be several different signature options. There's gonna be face-to-face, -face, there's email, there's voice signature, there's even text signature. So you can choose a signature method that aligns with your client's comfort level. Um, and then you're going to see that our products are either guaranteed issue or true simplified issue underwriting. Um, I just want to put something into perspective. In 2020, we issued over 280,000 policies and our underwriting team basically consists of two people. OK, and so the only way we can do that is to have products that, number one, uh, leverage technology and then number two are easy to get through the underwriting process so guaranteed issue means no health questions that's going to be like our prime dvh um, there will be some knockout questions um, you know they will ask a citizenship question and then also a um, you know are you incarcerated um, but as long as you know that individual's in the u.s legally and not currently serving time they're going to get issued. And when we look at true simplified underwriting, like our critical illness plan, um, it's going to be based on the questions on the application. OK, so as long as you can answer the questions favorably and truthfully, that policy is going to get issued. Ninety percent of the time it's in real time. So quick and easy. And then also the last thing that I always tell people is that we have a broad portfolio of ancillary or supplemental products. And so, you know, we got accident plans, we got critical illness, we got hospital indemnity plans, we got dental plans, we got DVH plans, um, we even have disability plans. And so if you're looking for one carrier just to work with to cover all of your ancillary product needs, Surebridge is going to be a good fit for that because we check most of the boxes and then we're also available in both the under 65 and over 65 market. So again, today we're going to talk about Prime DVH, um, which is a, a dental vision and hearing combo product. And, um, you know, these first slides that we're going to go through really focuses on the senior market. Um, you know, when we designed this, this product, um, it was kind of focused on the senior market. However, it's very competitive in the under 65 market as well. Um, we sell a lot of it in the under 65 as well. But these first few slides are going to really be targeted um, kind of towards that senior market just to kind of open your eyes of the opportunities. So most people on Medicare do not have dental coverage. And, you know, if you look at the slide by Kaiser, 65 percent don't have dental coverage. That means basically two out of three of your clients that are on Medicare has a need for this product, okay? And so I just show this slide because I'm like, there's a tremendous opportunity in the senior market. 
Um, you know, and one of the reasons for this is because, you know, a lot of people in the under 65 market have their dental coverage through their employer, right? They got an employer, they got group coverage, they got dental coverage, everything's good. They turn 65, lose that group, group coverage, and they don't know what to do. And agents aren't out educating them on, on, you know, individual solutions to cover these needs. So the point of this slide is that there's just a tremendous opportunity to sell um, these plans. Um, also, you know, uh, if you sell Medicare Advantage plans, I know a lot of people are switching to Medicare Advantage plans, and um, some MA plans have great dental benefits built in there, right? They got uh, great uh, benefits built in there, but there's still a good portion of them that don't have any dental coverage or only cover preventative benefits. So even if you're selling your client Medicare Advantage, really take a deep look at the uh, dental benefits built into the plan and make sure uh, you know what they cover and it meets all their needs. Because even if it you know only covers preventative, there still might be a need for um, prime DDH or some, again, some of the MA plans don't have any dental coverage, which obviously would, would uh, establish a need for prime DDH as well. So whether you're you know selling in that, uh, selling med subs or you know, enrolling people in Medicare Advantage, there's still going to be an opportunity for uh, Prime DVH. So, you know, when we were designing this product, we went out into the marketplace and we looked at other dental vision hearing combo products out there. And, you know, we said, okay, what do we like about these plans? And then we kind of, you know, replicated that. And then we said, what don't we like about these plans? And then we changed that, right? And one of the things that we didn't like about some of our competitors is that, um, you know, for your basic preventative services, the client would get hit with a deductible and it would only pay a certain, uh, maybe a lower percent. And so that client went to the dentist and then got hit with the bill and they're like, what the heck? I'm not, I, don't, I just don't see the value with it. And so we didn't want that. So when we designed this plan, we created it so that preventative dental is covered at 100% day one, no deductible. So you go get your teeth checked out. You go get that basic cleaning and some basic x-rays, no out-of-pocket costs um, day one, no deductible, just huge value for your client. Also, your vision and hearing exams are going to be covered at 100% day one with no deductible. So, you know, your client can have just, I don't know, uh, one heck of a day right after they get this issued. Go get them teeth checked out. Go get the, your hearing checked out. Get your eyes examined with no out-of-pocket costs. So, boom, 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 right there, right off the bat, um, immediate value to your client after just one month's premiums paid. Um, and so just a huge value there um, on the preventative services with Prime DVH. Um, when we look at waiting periods, um, your basic dental procedures. So let's say you go get your teeth clean. They said, hey, uh, Seth, you got a cavity. Good news, that would be covered under the basic dental procedures. No waiting period for that. So you'd have some insurance coverage. And we'll talk about the specific uh, percentage that would be paid on another slide. And then even the major dental services like the crowns, uh, root canals, that only has a nine month wait. So um, point is we wanted this plan to be very accessible in terms of benefits and not making clients wait a long time for it. So as you can see, um, nine month waiting period for, for major, no waiting period for the basic. Um, also, you're gonna see very competitive premiums and commissions. And then we'll talk about you know the networks that are available um, that your clients can choose to use, or um, we'll also talk about if they want to go out of network as well. So they're not limited to having to go to an in-network provider. We'll talk about the out-of-network um, providers as well. However, you know what? They can get some pretty good discounts um, if they choose to go with an in-network provider. So here's some nuts and bolts of the plan. Um, you know, issue ages zero to 90. And so again, if you're working the under 65 market, this is a great plan. Um, and then if you're working the over 65 market, it's a great plan as well. Um, you know, it's going to be renewable for life. So as long as you um, get that plan locked in at age 90, you're going to be good to go. You get to keep it, you know, 91 and beyond. Um, we can do individual coverage. We can do family coverage. Um, we can even do uh, create, do it as child primary. So if you have somebody that uh, has a kid and they only want to buy this plan on their child, you can do that. You don't have to have the parents enroll for it. Um, but the way that it works is you choose a pool of money. So you either choose $1,000, $1,500, or $2,000. Now, that pool of money is going to be used for all benefits, okay? So your vision benefit will come out of that. 
um, your hearing benefit will come out of that and your dental benefit will come out of that. So sometimes, you know, people will ask, well, is the vision and hearing in addition? No, all your benefits come out of that uh, benefit maximum that you choose. Um, there is going to be a hundred dollar deductible for some services. We'll hit on which ones that is applicable. But the biggest thing to remember is that preventative it's not going to be applicable. So again, you can go get that, those teeth cleans with no out-of-pocket cost, which is nice. And then again, we'll talk about the uh, different providers uh, set up with this plan on another slide. So, you know, looking at the basic dental benefits, um, you know, I always tell people, download the product guide. And then in the product guide, you can download a sample policy. And then that lists all of uh, the different uh, procedures and where they're covered. You know, that's my go-to. Um, you know, if somebody asks a specific questions, is X, Y, Z um, covered? I say, I don't know. Take a look in, in the uh, sample policy that will, you know, tell you everything that's covered and also what category it falls into. Now, the two that always comes up, and so I just always address them on the slide, are going to be implants. And no, implants are not covered with this plan. And then the other one is going to be orthodontics. And no, orthodontics aren't covered on this plan either. Um, there's other carriers out there that do cover those things. Um, however, you know, you end up paying more premium. And so it's, it's we just took them out um, to keep the cost down. Um, and so implants, not covered. Orthodontics, not covered. Otherwise, it's going to align with, you know, most of the uh, dental plans uh, that you're familiar with. So here's how the dental benefit works. Um, we've already hit on the preventative. No waiting period, 100%. Um, deductible, not applicable. Basic type services, again, available immediately. 60% um, year one, 70% year two, 80% year three and beyond. Um, and that deductible is applicable. Major type services does have that nine month wait. After those nine months, you're covered at 60% for the remainder of that first year, then jump to 70, then jump to 80 uh, year three and beyond. And the deductible is applicable. Now, remember this plan only has one deductible per policy, per policy year. And so if you hit the deductible on basic, it doesn't mean you have to pay it again for major. And you don't have to pay it you know, for vision or hearing either. It's just one deductible for all three types of services. Um, and you know, this is uh, the network that is tied to this plan is gonna be the Carrington Network. Um, Carrington Network has you know, providers across the entire United States. Um, you know, there, I'll show you where you can go out and do a search to find you know, the people located in your area. But inevitably, somebody on the call today is going to say, I have this client and they've been going to the same dentist for 50 years and they're not changing now and they don't take it. Uh, they're not in the Carrington network. What should I do? Well, the good thing is, is we designed some pretty strong out of network benefits on this plan as well. Um, we use what's called a passive network. And the way that a passive network uh, works is that it'll pay the same percentage listed up there. So, you know, the preventative 100%, uh, you know, basic major 60, 70, and 80. However, it's capped at the 75th percentile of usual and customary charges. Now, this is where I usually lose agents, okay? Um, it, it is not capped, or it's not 75% of usual and customary charges. It's capped at the 75th percentile of usual and customary charges. So, the way that you know, I explain it and I think it's the easiest way to look at it is that imagine that there's 75 dentists standing in, or excuse me, imagine there's a hundred dentists standing in a row and they all charge a little bit different amount, right? Um, if you go to dentist one through 75, it would pay the same as if you went in network, okay? However, if you go to dentist 75 to 100, meaning your dentist is in the upper quartile as far as most expensive in the area, it would be capped at what that 75th dentist charge. So um, bottom line is, you know, whenever possible, I recommend going in network with Carrington because you get some pretty good discounts. I saw one the other day where the dentist actually charged them uh, $200 for a procedure. And after the discount, it dropped to a hundred. Um, so, you know, pretty good savings there. Uh, so whenever possible, go to Carrington, but good out of network benefits as well. If for some reason they can't find a provider um, you know, using the search function um, or if their particular dentist is an in-network. So just remember, great in-network, out-of-network benefits for Prime DVH. Now, looking at the hearing benefits, it's going to cover, you know, that hearing exam, purchasing hearing aids, um, repairs on hearing aids, and uh, the hearing benefits going to use the true hearing network. And I really try to put more emphasis on this network. Um, the reason for that is that hearing aids are expensive. 
And you're going to see on the next slide that the hearing benefits capped at $500 every two years. And some clients will say, well, $500, that doesn't seem like very much. And I mean, if you're buying $6,000 hearing aids, I can see, see their point. However, if you leverage the discounts associated with True Hearing, now maybe you get those $6,000 hearing aids for $3,000. Well, now you're talking about some significant savings just by having this plan. Then in addition to that, you know you're getting that $500 benefit um, every two years. And so now you're providing some, some uh, you know, true value. So um, always, you know, take a look at the True Hearing Network and the discounts associated with it, because I'm surprised of how much uh, your client can save um, by leveraging uh, that network. Now, the vision uh, benefit is going to be a little bit different than the hearing and dental benefit on this plan. The vision benefit is always going to be a reimbursement. OK, it is not tied to a network. And this is one of the number one things that agents get confused on. OK, so the vision benefit is always going to be a reimbursement. The client can go to any provider they want. They settle up with that provider. Then they submit the claim directly to Surebridge. And then we pay, um, you know, we're going to pay that pay that benefit directly to the insured. So um, but it's going to cover, you know, your your exams, uh, contact lenses, uh, frames, you know, whatever, whatever the case might be. Um, pretty standard there, but just remember it's always going to be a reimbursement. So looking at the vision and hearing benefits, here's really how they work. Um, you know, the uh, vision exam, we already hit on it, covered uh, immediately, 100%, no deductible. There is a nine-month wait for hardware, okay? So be sure they point that out. Um, then it's 60% the remainder of that year, then 70, 80, beyond. Um, the benefit is capped at $200 per year, okay? So if you have a $2,000 benefit, only 200 of that 2000 can be allocated towards the vision benefit. So just keep that in, in mind. Um, hearing is going to work very similar to uh, the um, vision benefit in that your you know, hear, hearing exams covered immediately day one, um, no deductible. Your hardware does have that nine month wait, then covered 60, 70, 80. Um, deductible is applicable to the hardware. And then the hearing benefit is capped at $500 every two years. So you can split that up, do 250, 250 wait, use all 500. That's what we see most people doing because just, you know, those hearing hardware is is expensive. Um, so usually we, and they don't buy them, you know, hearing aids every year. And so they usually just see that $500 um, go to that. So um, that's how the, the benefits work and, um, you know, very competitive, great benefits uh, for, for your clients. So up on the screen there are going to be the premiums. Um, for the plan, uh, two things I always point out on this slide is number one, that these are issue age premiums. So there is an incentive to get this plan locked in if you're on the edge of an age band, 65, for example, uh, because once you turn 66, you're going to see a pretty significant um, increase in premium, right? But if you purchase it when you're 65, guess what? You get to pay that 65 year old rate, uh, 65 year old premium for the remainder of the policy. So definitely uh, an incentive to get these locked in if you're working with a client that are on that age band. Um, the other thing I always point out is uh, increase benefits. Okay. I know a lot of people will try to, you know, play the game where they'll enroll in the lower benefit amount and then increase it down the road when they need work done. Um, you know, we only allow policy increases uh, or benefit increases on policy anniversary. OK, that's it. So you have to go out, you know, 60 days before your policy anniversary, submit a new app, set the um, effective date on the policy anniversary. That's when you can um, increase it. Otherwise, uh, you know, if you just call up and say, hey, I want to increase it, you can't. You're going to be told you have to wait till the um, policy anniversary. Good news is you don't have to start new waiting periods. So but you do have to wait for the policy anniversary to increase it. So let's take a look at a couple of frequently asked questions. Um, you know, will my client receive an ID card? Uh, yes, uh, they will receive an ID card. Um, if they are 65 or, and older, they always receive an ID card. If they're 65 and younger, it just depends on how they answer a question on the application. Um, there's a question on the application that says, uh, do you consent to electronic delivery? If they say, yes, I do consent to electronic delivery, they will not receive a card in the mail. They'll receive an email on instructions how to download it. Um, if they answer that question, no, they don't consent, uh, they will receive that card in the mail. My advice is just answer that question, no, and then your client always receives the card in the mail, um, which seems to be what most clients want, unless they're real, you know, want to save a tree and say, no, I can just access it online. Um, to find a provider, you're going to want to go out to chesapeakeplus.com. 
Um, and then right down here in the lower right hand corner, you can see the link, find a provider, find a hearing provider. Do not get confused about that find a vision provider. Um, if you recall, the prime VVH benefit is not tied to, a, 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 the vision benefit is not tied to a vision network. That's actually for a standalone vision plan um, that, that we offer. So don't get confused there. Um, the dental and the hearing are gonna be the two that are applicable um, for uh, th this, this particular plan. Um, this is also a, a good uh, website to save because you can go out, get an ID card, um, you can change, well, your client can change their payment information. You can request a duplicate policy. You can change uh, contact information for the client and you can even cancel your policy. So a lot of the self-service can be done on this website. So definitely one that you want to bookmark and uh, keep handy um, to share with your client. Uh, when your client goes to use the card, um, have them say Carrington Network, okay? Uh, dentists will know who the Carrington Network is. Um, if you say Sherbridge or Chesapeake Life, they probably won't know what they are and say, we don't take them. But if you say Carrington, they're going to know what that is um, and, and going to uh, uh, you know, be familiar with the plan. Um, if you go to hearing to, a, to an audiologist, um, you're going to uh, you know, wanna say uh, true hearing. And if you go to the optometrist for vision benefits, don't even show them the card. Remember that it is going to be a reimbursement type plan. And so showing them card doesn't do anything because they're gonna have to settle up anyways and then submit the claim directly to Sherbridge um, to be reimbursed. Um, the dentist, if you go in network, should file that claim for you. Um, same with the true hearing, um, th those should file the claim. If you go out of network, it just depends. Um, you know, um, a lot of times dentists will still file the claim on behalf of the client. If for some reason they don't, um, they still are eligible for benefits, they would just have to, uh, you know, submit the claim for reimbursement. But um, if they go in network, they always will file the claim. Um, vision claim, remember, always a reimbursement. So that's kind of the frequently asked questions. Just real quick, I want to hit on a couple of sales ideas. Um, you know, if you're in the over 65 market, just leverage the Medicare and you handbook. Most of your clients will uh, have received this. It might even be sitting on the coffee table and just flip to this page that covers what's not covered by part A and part B. It's either 57 or 59, or at least last year, that's what it was. Um, but right here, it says, if you're rolling part A and part B, you are not going to have coverage for most dental care, eye exams related to prescribing glasses, dentures, and hearing aids and exams for fitting them. And so right here in the Medicare U handbook, it's telling you these things aren't covered. And so you flip to this page, make sure the client knows that and just say, hey, look, I'm gonna show you a more cost-effective way um, to cover these using a prime DVH plan. I'm telling you, if you're in the over 65 market, this is the easiest way to bring it up and um, educate your clients on the advantages of going with a prime DVH plan. Um, the other thing that I always tell people is just ask, you know, ask the question, are you currently going to the dentist? Um, because no matter how they answer, you're probably going to be able to have a conversation about prime DVH. If you say, are you going to currently going to the dentist? And they say, no, you just say, is that something you're interested on? Chances are they say yes. And then you can say, great, let me show you a, a more cost effective way to go to the dentist. Um, if you ask this question, they come back and they say, yeah, I am going to the dentist. You say, great. Are you currently using insurance or paying for it out of pocket? And they come back and say, well, I just pay for it out of pocket. You say, oh, well, let me show you a more cost effective way to pay for your dental care. And then finally, if you ask them if they go into the dentist and they say yes, and you say, are you using insurance? And they say, yes, you say, oh, great. Does your current insurance also cover uh, vision and hearing? Chances are it doesn't. So there's a way in. So unless they already have a prime DVH plan, um, you're going to be able to, to open up a conversation. And even if they come back and say, well, yeah, actually, I do have a prime DVH plan. You say, oh, OK, you mind me taking a look and see um, if I can you know, get you something better. So easy way to bring it up and ask your client. Um, then the final you know, sales idea that I have for you is just know your numbers, right? Um, I went out here, this is in uh, Eastern Nebraska, typed in my zip code and all these benefits are covered under the preventative services, which would not have a deductible and covered at 100%. So I buy this premium, go get my teeth checked out, get all these benefits, um, $303 value. Now, what if I tacked on an eye exam? And what if I tacked on a hearing exam? You know, I'm already after paying one, you know, month's premium, I'm already up over $400 worth of value. So you can do the math on what the premium is per year. But if you're going and using this plan, you're going to recoup what you pay in premiums and then also have some additional benefits uh, protection. So, um, you know, that's the, the other sales number that or sales idea that I have for you.
The last product I want to hit on just real quick is going to be Surebridge's critical illness plan. And if you were on at the beginning of this, you heard me say that Prime DVH is the easiest plan to sell. And I'm a firm believer that critical illness is maybe one of the most important products to sell. Um, out of all the products we have in our portfolio, one that really impacts people's lives is critical illness. Um, obviously, it pays that lump sum upon diagnosis of a covered conditions such as cancer, heart attack, or stroke. Um, but those times can be very challenging for a family um, from an emotional standpoint. And then, you know, putting that client in uh, financial stress as well just doesn't help the situation. So critical illness is there, you know, for families um, when they have things that are unexpected and uh, just are really going to impact their lives. And I always tell the story of my grandma and grandpa. My, my grandpa died of cancer. And, you know, during his last days, he was up at, uh, you know, the hospital and, they, they didn't live by Omaha and uh, they lived south about an hour. So obviously my grandma was staying up there and, you know, seeing my grandma sleep in a, you know, a chair next to my grandpa uh, most nights and then occasionally, you know, going to get in a hotel uh, just so she could get a shower and a good night's sleep. But, you know, those costs add up and obviously the family pitches in and helps out with those costs. But, you know, they didn't want she, she my grandma didn't want to take money from from her kids, you know, my mom and her, her brothers and sisters. And so, you know, a critical illness plan that would have paid cash help pay with some of those um, things that weren't covered uh, by the health insurance um, just, you know, really would have came in handy. So, I, you know, we've all seen firsthand how heart attacks, cancer, strokes impact families. And this is a plan that can really help them um, through their financial struggles um, when those things ha happen. So, you know, critical illness here are going to be the nuts and bolts of the plan. Issue age is zero to 90. So even if you're in that over 65 market, you can sell, still sell this plan. Up to 100,000 um, simplified issue if your clients are 63 or below. Um, and then it is 50,000 if they're 64 or above. Okay, so um, very competitive benefit amounts um, for critical uh, for, for a simplified issue critical illness. There is no reduction in benefits. So if you get a hundred thousand dollar benefit when you're 60, you get to keep that plan. Okay, the benefit doesn't reduce, but if you enroll in it when you're 65, the max you can get is going to be 50,000. Um, so we a nice a cool thing about this plan is that we do have a guaranteed issue amount of five or ten thousand. Um, so if you're working that under sixty three market, uh, they would qualify for that five to ten thousand guaranteed issue. No health questions on the application, no high, height weight cha chart. Basically, everyone qualifies. However, the biggest thing you have to remember is that it pays upon first diagnosis of a covered condition. Okay, so if your client has already had cancer, could they get cancer yes but it would never pay so it doesn't make sense right um it this benefit confuses a lot of people you know if you have a question about what if da, 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 no it pays upon first diagnosis of a covered condition and in the contract it lists cancer as a covered condition so if they've had cancer it's not it's not going to pay okay um you know they'd have to be diagnosed with with cancer after the fact but you say okay well then why critical you know guaranteed issue because there's a lot of other health questions that can knock people out right um you know height weight being one of the biggest ones um so five or ten thousand guaranteed issue um great for people zero to 63. um other than that it's going to be simplified issue and again when i say simplified issue except reject um no, you know, no MIB, no script check, no personal phone interview. Can you get through the questions favorably? If so, plan's going to be issued. Um, there is a two-year look back for the first 12 months of the policy and a, a 30-day waiting period. Um, there's a one-time application fee as well. Uh, Prime DVH does not have an application fee, but all of our other products do. Um, but if you enroll multiple people on one app, it's only one app fee. Or if you enroll people, multiple people in multiple products, it's only one app fee. Um, so uh, just be aware of that. So how it works is that, um, you know, we wanted flexibility with this plan. And when I mean flexibility, we wanted people to pick and choose what uh, cover conditions they want to cover for. And then we also wanted the ability to carve out a condition um, if they've already had a previous condition. So like I said, guaranteed issue, um, cancer wise, you know, if you've had cancer that you can't get it, but you would be able to get the heart wise and the critical condition writer. Um, where with other carriers, you'd just be an all out decline. So um, the way it works is you start with a base policy, whether cancer wise plus, heart wise, 
Um, and then you start adding the riders. If you want a comprehensive critical illness plan, you'd start cancer wise, then you'd add the heart, and then you'd add the critical condition rider. But like I said, you do have the ability to mix and match there um, for, for your clients. So, uh, but that's the way it works. You start with the base policy and actually the illustration software uh, does it for you. Um, if you just select critical illness, it actually automatically adds all three portions or you can drop down and do a, a pick and choose. But you start with cancer wise and then add the other writers that you want coverage for. Um, up on the screen is gonna be what's covered. Remember this is gonna pay out once in each category. So if you have heart, it'll pay for a heart attack. If you have cancer, it'd pay for uh, cancer. And then if you had crit critical, uh, one of the critical conditions, it would pay for that. So our plan does pay three times. Um, if you have all three parts, uh, just remember that some benefits play, pay a lesser amount like coronary artery bypass line pays 25%. You're still eligible for that other 75% if you have, let's say a full blown heart attack, okay? Um, so just remember that. Um, just couple, um, point out a couple of cool things. Um, this plan actually does pay 250 for skin cancer where a lot of, you know, of our competitors just doesn't pay anything for those, that basic skin cancer. Um, then also I like to point out down here on the critical conditions rider, the loss of independent living. So if they're unable to do two out of six ADLs, they'll actually pay 25% of the benefit, um, which, which is nice because, um, you know, I know that's a concern with a lot of seniors. So, uh, but these are going to be the benefits that are going to be uh, covered, or excuse me, the conditions that are going to be covered. And remember, pays once um, per category. So, if you had a hundred thousand, you could get a hundred thousand for a heart attack, a hundred for cancer, and a hundred for um, Alzheimer's, for example. Um, we all know the need, right? Um, I, I swear, every critical illness presentation has to have some statistics, but the reality is, we know people that have had these co uh, conditions. And it always goes back to the four questions, right? Who do you know that's been diagnosed with a heart attack, cancer, or stroke? Was it expected? It's usually gonna be no. Um, you know, did it create emotional stress? Obviously, yes. And then finally, would a lump sum check have helped ease the burden? And, you know, always have your personal story ready too. Um, I always tell my grandma and grandpa's story because that's the one that's closest to me. Um, but I've had good friends die of, of cancer as well. And um, it's a tough situation, you know, um, you just hope that they have everything in, in place and, and a good plan. And otherwise, you know, you see, start seeing a lot of fundraisers to, to raise money. You know, I, uh, we li I live in a pretty small community. And so, you know, I, there, just the other day, we, there was a, a cornhole tournament, um, you know, throwing beanbags um, for somebody that needed help cover cancer costs. So, you know, communities will pull together if you live in a small community. But, you know, I always tell people, you know, take matters in your own hands and uh, just get some critical illness insurance uh, when you still can. Um, here's an example in the over 65 market. Um, you know, it, it, we see a lot sold, the smaller amounts sold in the over 65 market, um, you know, 20,000 or uh, even 15,000 uh, works, works good. Um, I actually don't have, I think I removed the actual, the one, the example in the under 65 market, but um, I tell people, man, you want to buy critical illness uh, as early as possible when you're young, because that's when it's going to be the least expensive. Once you get old, yeah, or I shouldn't say get old, but when, <laughs> once you turn 65, you know, it starts getting expensive because, um, you know, the chances of these things occurring just increase dramatically. Um, up on the screen here are what the knockout questions are going to be. Um, as I said, you can mix and match, okay? And so, um, you know, if it's a check mark, you're not eligible for that benefit. But like, for example, um, if you have had a respiratory disorder like COPD, you can't get the critical conditions rider, but you can still get the cancer in the heart. And so this really allows you to mix and match um, with your clients. Um, if, and, and, you know, if they're uh, just treated or diagnosed within the, the look back um, period. So um, definitely take a look at this. Otherwise, you can walk through the questions on the app um, or these questions are also in the product guide. And so in case you want to take a look at them there. And so um, with that, Sandy, I'll turn it back over to you. If there's, um, you know, any questions that uh, popped up, I'd be more than happy to answer it. But just remember, easiest product to sell in Sherbridge's portfolio is Prime DVH. And the one that I think is the most important sell just because of the impact it can have on a client's life is going to be critical illness. So hopefully they found it beneficial, Sandy. Great, great. Thank you very much, Seth, for the, such a wonderful uh, training. Um, I do have one agent that have a question. Will the hard plan uh, covers 10% for multiple angioplasty procedures? It, it won't. So it would just pay on the first time you have angioplasty and then you would have to have a diagnosis of um, 
you, you'd have to have a, a diagnosis for like a higher payout. So like my example, you have angioplasty and then mm -hmm. it would, um, you know, let's say you had a full blown heart attack, then you'd get the remaining 90%, but no, you don't get 10% for every angioplasty. Okay. So that answer that question. Um, uh, what I will do is everyone, uh, thank you again for participating and, and, and being um, with us on this uh, day to, to, to do that webinar with us. Uh, I'm going to see if I can uh, send a contracting link for every one of uh, everyone who participated in the uh, on the webinar. Uh, once you complete the contracting link, you will be able to have access to being set up directly uh, with a career and, and start writing right away. If you have any questions, uh, any concerns, just give me a call back. Uh, I'm going to get a copy of the recording and send it to you as well. So just in case anyone missed any question. And then um, we'll, we'll, we'll go from there. I want to thank uh, Seth for uh, his time today. And, uh, and I hope that everyone have a great day. Thank you. All right. Thanks. Bye.